Back from a exciting camping trip way out deep in the woods. It was awesome. Vinny was apparently in Oregon for I don't even know why. Uh, my cousin got married. Then I drove home, which took forever. But hey, bro, at least you didn't travel with two kids. I did not travel with two kids. I think I threw enough tantrums for your children and Craig's. Oh, I don't, I don't know, dude. I saw Thor, oh. which was fantastic. No spoilers. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah. But then He uh, has a hammer. Damn it, Brian. Spoiler alert. Actually, no, never mind. He has another hammer? I, he, what version actually, did you see? It opened with an awesome wrestling match. This was a King's Road match if ever mm -hmm. I've seen one. If you have not watched this match, stop listening to this silly little podcast and go watch this immediately. You're the worst host. What did I do? Watch it after this podcast. We have so much more to say. Such as? Well... Athena and Chris Statlander did a promo. <laughs> There's been a noticeable difference since Tony Khan bought Ring of Honor. This dude has too much on his plate with the Ring of Honor and AEW. And last month, New Japan as well. This is WWE 101. You get the partners that don't get along. One guy screws the other. Oh, I got a speech on this. I want to recap what we've seen in, I believe, the last 80 minutes of AEW programming on television. The acclaimed were put together with the gun club for no reason other than they could then break up and feud, and that breakup happened on Dynamite. Jonathan Gresham was put in a tag team match with Lee Moriarty for no other reason than they could then break up and feud. Out comes Serena Deeb and Mercedes Martinez. They go back and forth, and now they're brawling, and the tag team that was put together just so they could break up has broken up. They have one idea to make opponents, and it's to team them for no reason, and then to have them break up. But it all started with Lynn, because I can't hear too well, so she kept saying, you need a landline phone. How is a landline going to make you hear better? Huh? Took his sword and hit the rope, and flames came out yeah. everywhere. Everything blew up when he hit that rope with Excuse that me. sword. Yeah. He hit the ropes with a sword. Yes. And there were sparks and fire. And, and the post exploded. This doesn't make any sense. Vinny, of course it doesn't make any sense. That's there's, why we're talking about ropes it. ropes in a he ring. He chopped it in half and the post went out like Kane was coming out. And he yes. hit them, and this caused fire yes. elsewhere. Huh. What a weird sword. Can you do it now, Jared? Because I don't want to wait till you're all done. I want to wait to have it done now because I have two soaps to watch. Test that volume. Any sound? No. No sound. That sure sounds like sound to me. That, that just came on. Oh. Oh, God. All right. Well, have a great day, Granny. And man, this fucking Lex Luger, I thought he got oh. a fucking great promo. Fantastic. How many fucking times did we see Luger, and it was like, this fucking guy is totally on the cusp. Of of being the guy, and then some shit goes wrong. As he was called, the Macho Midget. <laughs> Am I the only one that thought this was absolutely great? Yes. God, I... You are the only I one who thought this was absolutely great. this match. Really? Opens with Orange Cassidy versus Wardlow. A match that should not have worked for about 5,000 reasons, but I thought it did. The best friends vowed to cheat a lot. They were ejected quickly when they attempted to use a chainsaw. You fucking never know what you're going to get with the John Moxley match. No. It's just going to be whatever it's going to be on that day. And it's always great. And he's in there with Takeshita, who I think I'm ready to put in the always great category himself. Beautiful professional wrestling on display here. Beautiful, I say. And I hereby nominate Jonathan Moxley. Seconded. For the prestigious prestigious Matt Cleary Memorial, Brian and Vinny Hall of Awesome. So, John Moxley, congratulations. Yeah, you, my friend, are fucking awesome. Christian Cage and his turtleneck came out for a promo. I, you know, it was it was a good promo, but uh, his his material is running thin. We need Jungle Boy back here soon. It, it is time for Jungle Boy. And I don't know if we can come back, so hopefully it's sooner rather than later. Not a cowboy, not a hay man. He was distracted hippie Adam Page this week. I don't don't have any earthly idea where this is going. 
But there's a reason that he was looking at his phone. Yeah. The, ah, that's my phone. Phone's going off. Hang on. Brian, kill some time. Mother in law's calling. <laughs> well, I hope she's not a listener. No, she's not. And she passes a sand bag to Tony Schiavone and says, You try carrying her for a month. Well, I was inside. <laughs> it sure was. <laughs> I think there were 940,000 viewers. I would bet that 800,000 had absolutely no idea why they Way was more than that. that. Keith Lee has had some some personal issues that he tweeted about, and he dedicated this match to to two of his friends, I believe. But once he did that, you know, everyone figured they were going to, like Dave figured immediately they were going to win the titles. But this had been the plan for a while. They want you to think it's not Cora Jade. As soon as they start talking about being best friends and they're being all buddy-buddy, of course that was where they were going. And it was. It's, it's very strange. She does a lot of hair whipping. Like, yes. like the Maurice spot. And you know, I did that Maurice spot once to my wife um, when I had long hair. I see. I don't know why. I just, I just, <laughs> I did the whole Maurice pose and everything. I whipped my hair back. She fucking laughed. <laughs> if you can make a woman laugh, Vinny. Oh, believe me, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I figured this out. It took me 35 years, but I figured it out. Why are these fucking guys not on the main roster <laughs> no idea. just being awesome? I have no idea. They're total sports entertainers. Oh, it's like 100%. There's like nothing you could point to where it's like, well, this act won't work on the main roster. No. Indy Hartwell versus Last Legend was a horror show. God. This had to have been the worst match I've seen all year. She can't even walk backwards. She has to look back over her shoulder to see where she is going as she walks backwards, which would you would think indicate someone's going to hit you in the back of the head with her arm. Indy can't walk. Indy cannot walk. Okay. Mackenzie interviews Nikita Lyons' breasts. God, there is no subtlety here. And she is so angry, so powerful is her rage, that her skateboard shatters under the very power of her grip. Yes. And the thing breaks in two as it's being swung upwards. And uh, they did a hell of a job, apparently, editing it Whoever, so you couldn't... The clip I saw on Peacock, uh, apparently it was from the Peacock Network, and... These people legitimately need to win an Academy Award. <laughs> I ILM has never done an effect this good. Well, anyway, Dynamite wins. <laughs> Dynamite wins by yeah. a lot. A lot. 